Hey everybody, it's Lindsay, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you one of my favorite websites for choosing a color palette. It's called coolers.co. You can just hit the space bar and it will start giving you random color palettes. So that's one way that you can use it. You can choose colors from an image. So I'm just going to upload a stock image in here and look, wow, it already picked out all these different colors from this image. And then you can click this other button and it will just cycle through and pick some more. If you like like three colors on here, you can lock it and then you can hit the space bar again to find other colors that are complementary to the colors that you have in here. Be prepared. You might spend a little bit more time on this website than you plan to, but I'm going to upload another image. You can even come in here with this little eyedropper that's on this image and you just click on the square and then you move the little eyedropper tool around. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over to my colors that I picked. I'm going to copy this hex code. I'm going to jump back over to coolers. I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to lock it because I like this color and I want to find things that will work with this same color. I'm going to do this with a few more colors. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit, but you know, just copy the hex code and then paste it in coolers and be sure to lock it if you like that color. You can also move these colors around by clicking on this arrow and just kind of sliding it over to one of the sides. And you know, there's just a lot of different things that you can do with this. I like to use this tool because if you only have like two colors that you like, or you have four colors that you like, but you want to have another one to throw in there to kind of balance things out, this is a great tool for that. So hopefully this lesson kind of helps you understand how you can use coolers to pick out a color palette from your mood board. I'll see you in the next lesson.